Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the Google Pixel 5a 5G. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description, the price on this one, 450 bucks. Now it comes in one color, mostly black. All right, so let's go through all of the specs for the display. You got a 6.34 inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 415 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, a metal unibody frame, and the phone is IP67 dust and water resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G with the Adreno 620 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? High tier mid-range specs, bro. High tier mid-range specs. Now it's running Android 11 stock. All right, now that's part of the reason you're buying this phone, the stock Google OS. Now you got six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. You got a 4,680 milliamp battery that features 18 watt fast charge. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle. On the front, you got an eight megapixel wide angle lens. Now, for the rear cameras, you can shoot 4K video up to 30 frames per second. You got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, always on display, you got a rear fingerprint sensor, and you get a headphone jack. All right, 450 bucks, what's missing? No expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no face unlock. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love white my shoes. white shoes. Calm down. All right, here we go. Google Pixel 5a 5G. Now, the color is called mostly black, but I'm calling it definitely green, all right? Clean white box, y'all know I like that, giggity. Here we go. Now check this out. <laughs> it definitely has a forest kind of green look to it. I like it though. Inside, there's your SIM ejection tool. Let's see anything else. Got your usual books and shit, pluck them and file them. You got your quick transfer tool. All right, so this is USB-A to USB Type-C. You got a nice USB Type-C charging cable. All right, shoes, I'm gonna need you to inspect this for quality. And Samsung, Apple, pay attention, 18 watt fast charging brick in the box. Okay, now I know some of y'all gonna say 18 watts, fast charging, LOL, I know, but it's still in the box. That's the important part to take away, the chargers in the box. Samsung, Apple, pay attention. This is how you do it. All right, now for the device, let's get a little power up on this. Like I said, <laughs> definitely black, <laughs> mostly black, but definitely green, okay? Google logo on the back. I love this metal unibody frame. There's your fingerprint sensor, camera module, power button, volume up and down. On the top, headphone jack, Samsung, Apple, headphone jack, you got a mic, the other side, there's your micro SD card, uh, actually a, a SIM tray, no micro SD card slot, that's your SIM tray. On the bottom, USB Type-C, dual speaker grills, and the other speakers on the top. Okay, now let me put my code in real quick. So you can see this uh, animation. And here it goes. Okay, pixel launcher, hit always, and bang, there it is. Now let me get a little wipe down. Check this one out. Now, I love this phone, and I'm going to tell you why in a second. But let me pause the video, set up my Wi-Fi, and I want to show you all some accessories real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, first up, we got the Google Pixel Buds A-Series. Now, these are going to run you 100 bucks. Now, I didn't bother doing a full review on these because these ain't really nothing special. Let me show you how they look. Okay, this is the olive green color. Five hours battery on these, seamless Google integration, real nice. Now, here's my honest opinion. These are totally worth a hundred bucks, but if you're serious about your music, save up an extra 30 bucks and go with the Sennheiser CX. All right, now these are gonna run you 130 bucks. The sound quality is just way better for the Sennheisers. But if you wanna keep everything Google, go with the Pixel Buds A. They sound great, totally worth a hundred bucks. All right, five hours battery, no issues with these. Let's keep it moving. 
All right, now, if you're gonna buy this phone, you're gonna want some cases. So let me show you the Spigen case lineup. First up, we got the Thin Fit. Now this one is gonna run you 14 bucks. Now I'm gonna try to make this quick. There's no wireless charge, so we can get through this as fast as possible. Simple case right here. Let's get and slap this one on. Okay, Thin Fit. This is a hard shell. Let's check the fingerprint sensor. No issues with that. Check the buttons. No issues. Nice amount of razivity. There's your cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Slam Boy certified. Okay, little speaking branding on the back. No fingerprints. All right, now this case doesn't add too much extra thickness, hence the name Thin Fit. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the Liquid Air. Now this one is also gonna run you 14 bucks. Okay? Okay, Liquid Air. Now this one, TPU style case, nice textured feel on the back. There's your web pattern on the inside for shock absorption. Buttons, cutouts, cutouts. Slap this one on. Okay, let's check the button. No issues, fingerprint sensor. There it is. There's your razivity. And this is how it looks. All right, all the cutouts line up. This one is real nice. Okay, let's keep it moving. Next up, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible, all right? Next up, we got the Ultra Hybrid. Now this one's gonna run you 14 bucks, okay? Now shout out to Spigen. No more sticker struggles, hopefully. Let's see if we can do this in one try. Okay, right. <laughs> one more for the back. Okay, so far so good. Right. Okay, check this one out. Transparent style case. Full protection, buttons, cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Slap this one on. Now this is gonna showcase the color of your <laughs> mostly black, AKA definitely green phone. There's your button. Fingerprint sensor, easy access. All that juicy razivity, Slam Boy certified. All right, fully transparent style case, all of the cutouts line up. 14 bucks on this one. All you're gonna need is a little microfiber cloth, Wipe it down and look at that. All right, now if you want to drop your driver's license on the back, picture of your kid, picture of your cat, go crazy. All right, let's keep it moving. Next up, we got the Rugged Armor. Now this one is also gonna run you 14 bucks. This is one of my favorite ones for the gym, okay? This one, you got the carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber trim. Now, of course, this is not real carbon fiber. You're not getting real carbon fiber for 14 bucks. All right, it's just a sticker, but it's not gonna peel off. Matt feel on this, I'm back here sweating, and you still get no fingerprints. Cutouts, buttons, cutouts. Shock absorption, wet pattern on the inside. Slap the case on. One, two, three, just like that. Nice amount of razivity, Slam Boy certified. Check the button. Easy access. Okay, fingerprint sensor, there it is. All of the cutouts line up. Official tissue, all right? This is the Rugged Armor, 14 bucks. Now we got one more. Let's take a look at my favorite case. This is gonna be the Tough Armor. Now this one's gonna run you 19 bucks. This is the most expensive case from Spigen, but it's also the most protective case. Now on the inside, you got your foam. All right, that's a shock absorption foam. This is a two-part style case, TPU with a hard shell. You got a kickstand. There's your cutouts, buttons, all right, cutouts. Now the button does have some ridges on it. Okay, you got plus and minus. Slap this one on. Now this one has the most amount of razivity. All right, now if I was only gonna buy one case, I would buy this one. Slam Boy certified. Check the fingerprint sensor. Easy access. There's your buttons. Just like that. Let's check that kickstand. Okay, watch your movies at work. And it does have a little snap, listen for that sound. Okay, do that one more time. Snaps right into place, so no flappage. <laughs> All right, no, no flappage on this one. This is the Tough Armor. Now on a side note, it comes in a few different colors, and since this is my favorite case, let me show you all of the colors. Here's the slate. All right, metal kind of gray look. That's how it's gonna look on your phone. Real classy. And of course, why not go all black? All right, all black, everything, always bet on black. Let's keep it moving. Drop this one on just like that. 
There it is. Now let's get a little wipe down right here. And this is how it's gonna look. Beautiful, okay? So this is the speaking case lineup. Check the uh, link in the description if you wanna buy some of these cases. Let's keep it moving. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I'm gonna start off this review by talking about everything that I don't like, which is really only two things. Number one, no wireless charge. And number two, no face unlock. Now I will say this, if you don't care about wireless charge and you don't care about face unlock, this is the perfect mid-range Android phone. Perfect. Now, if I had to pick one word to describe this phone, I would say clean. Everything about this phone is clean. The way it looks, the way it feels, the OS is super smooth. This is the perfect work phone. Now, I can't wait for the Google Pixel 6 Pro. I can tell you right now, that's definitely gonna be my work phone. Right now, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is my work phone, but that phone suffers from one issue, the camera. All right, for 450 bucks, you're not gonna find a better camera. Everybody knows about the Google processing software. The camera on this phone is epic for the price. Okay, now this is also the perfect phone because it works on every carrier. Now say you, you don't wanna buy one of these phones like the uh, Real, uh, Realme and Redmi and Xiaomi. You know, all these Chinese communist phones, no disrespect to China. I right, shout out to my man, Xi Jinping. I don't want no beef. But if you want a phone that's clean, smooth, and it's gonna work on every carrier, this is the phone for you, all right? This is the perfect mid-range Android phone. First, let's talk about the build quality. Metal unibody frame, no fingerprints on the back. Now, on a side note, I do wish it would've came in a few more colors, but this uh, <laughs> mostly black, AKA definitely green, that's what we calling it now, it looks beautiful, okay? Y'all know I gotta say it one time, feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, metal unibody frame, and it is IP67 water resistant, all right? This is the perfect phone if you're gonna buy a Galaxy Z Fold 3, you're gonna need a phone like this in your pocket also. Now, when I do my Z Fold 3 review, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you're gonna need two phones if you buy that phone. Matter of fact, spoiler alert, the camera. All right, the camera on the Z Fold and the Z Flip, this phone camera is actually better, and it's 450 bucks. All right, always on display. Now, one thing about Google phones, you do have an always on display, but it's not the customizable always on displays that you're gonna find on Samsung phones, but it's functional. All right, it shows you your time, date, you got the weather, and all your notifications. Simple and straightforward, and it does move around, so you're not gonna get any screen burn. Fingerprint sensor on the rear, one of the best, okay? Now, I usually hate fingerprint sensors on the rear. I like the on-screen fingerprint sensors, but if you're not gonna have wireless charge, might as well put it on the rear, and if you're gonna put it on the rear, do it like this. This one is almost, it's almost non-noticeable. All right, is that a real phrase? Non-noticeable, unnoticeable? What I say, non-noticeable? <laughs> right, we're using that today. It's almost non-noticeable. Right? It blends right into the back of your phone, and look how it works. You don't have to look for it. As soon as you tap it, it just comes right on. Bang. Personally, I wish it would have had face unlock because I'm just so used to pick, pulling out my phone and swiping up. But once you get used to the fingerprint sensor in the rear with this one, especially as smooth and responsive as it is, you're gonna love it, all right, you're gonna love it. If you're gonna do fingerprint sensors, all right, other phone companies watching this, if you're gonna do fingerprint sensors on the rear, do it like this. I prefer this one than the one on the side. Okay, let's do that one more time. Bang, there it is. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up though, you can use your fingerprint sensor, or you can swipe up and put your pin, okay? Now, for the display, beautiful AMOLED panel. Look how dark the black is. Okay, it just blends right in. Now, one of the reasons you buying this phone is for that stock Google OS. This is perfect. This is the perfect OS. No bloatware, no gimmicks, no trickanery. All right, just pure, smooth, clean Android. Now, I always say this about Pixel phones. If you got that one friend who has an iPhone and maybe they had an iPhone for the last couple of years, Every time you get into a phone war, the first thing they're gonna say is, oh, I would like to try an Android phone, but Android phones be lagging. Android phones be having hiccups. Uh, you know, They're always gonna give you that same song and dance. I always say this, all right? If you wanna try to convert somebody over to Android, let them use a Pixel, all right? Now, say your girl got an iPhone and she had an iPhone for the last couple of years and you want her to switch over to Android, let her use a Pixel for a week straight. 
this is the way Android is supposed to run. Super smooth, no hiccups at all. Stock, clean, pure Android. All right, now no super high refresh rate on this, but for 450 bucks, who cares? All right, who cares? It's refreshing fast enough. Beautiful. All right, now let's go. Now I'm not gonna go through all the settings because it's pretty much a stock Android device, but I will show you the one that I like the most. All right, now of course you got auto rotate, do not disturb, battery saver. The battery on this phone is crazy. Let's see, you got live caption. Now let me show you how live caption works. Let's open up YouTube real quick. Let's go to one of my videos. Let's see, what did I do yesterday? Let's do JBL. All right, so I'll start from the beginning. Yo, what's up, everybody? Right. It's your boy. Now, watch this. Now, say you happen to be from another country. You don't speak floss. All right? <laughs> you don't speak my language. But, you know, you want to understand what I'm saying because you, you support the channel. You buy the Pixel. You're going to throw on live caption. Just like that. Now, watch this. Flaw, back again with another when you're watching video. your videos. And today, we're going to take a look at the JBL. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. You're getting live Pixel caption. Online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 350 bucks. And it's pretty accurate. All right, now, I do be saying some crazy shit, so every now and then, it doesn't pick up a word. But on 99% of videos that you watch, live caption will translate that video perfectly. Now, the new Google 6 Pro, on the uh, Pixel 6 Pro, I heard that they're going to have Google Translate just like that, so you can watch a video in another language and translate it to English. That is going to be sick. All right, live caption, that's a feature that you want to check out. All right, so let's go through some of the basics real quick. Again, here's all your screens. Here's your apps. Look how smooth and fluent that is. Real nice. Now let's do a, let's, let's matter of fact, let me pull up a video so you can see how beautiful uh, this display actually looks. All right, now before we check this beautiful OLED panel, let's check the sound quality from these dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier, AKA Loop Daddy. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality of sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass baby? How's the treble on it? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? That's a sound test. Cover up the bottom speaker. See how loud the top still is? Real nice. These speakers sound great. 450 bucks, this is a win. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful OLED display. Here we go. Look at this. Basically bezel-less. Excellent viewing angles. Four hundred and fifty bucks. This is how you want to watch your videos, just like this. Look how beautiful that looks. I love it. Look at that sunset. For 450 bucks, this is a win, all right? I can't stress that enough. I am feeling this. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Look at that. That was almost instantaneous, all right? Big words alert. Nice, smooth scrolling speeds. Now, if you swipe up, there's your multiple apps at the same time. Split screen view, YouTube, Apple at the same time. All right, hit the music. Bang, look at that. Apple, eat your heart out. 
right, 450 bucks, you're getting smooth, clean, multitasking. Again, the best word to describe this phone is clean. Look how smooth and fluent everything works. All right, let's exit out of that. Matter of fact, on this TikTok, watch this. Here's all my recently used apps. Press one button, close them all out. That's pretty sick. Now, let's do the RDA test, okay? Regular daily activities. This is how you're gonna use your phone. All right, now, there's no wireless charge, so chances are you're not gonna have it on a wireless charging dock. You're gonna have it flat on the table. You wake up in the morning, all you gotta do is look at the phone, you ain't gotta touch it. I can already see the time and the date and the weather. All right, it's 8.13, maybe I don't gotta wake up till 8.30. Let me go back to sleep, I'll wake up at 8.27. Now, when it is 827, you grab your phone, fingerprint sensor on the rear, bang, you enter the device just like that. Let's check the weather. Okay, now, cloudy all day. All right, looks like a bad weekend. Pack your umbrella. Exit out of that. Next, let's take it over to, let's go to my uh, 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 Gmail updates. Okay, Samsung got an update. Let's see, 5% on your next smartphone, okay. Let's see anything else. Uh, let's see. This is how you're gonna check your emails. Okay. Bong, just like that. Checking my emails, Reddit. All right, shout out to OnlyFans. All right, OnlyFans is, is not allowing any more nudity. All right, now I don't know how I feel about that. In some ways, you know, the creators, they gotta make their money too. But in some ways, you know, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. I, I, I don't really have an opinion on that. <laughs> it is what it is. There's a lot of jokes that could be made, but I'm not going to make those. All right. I'm not going to make those. All right, let's see. Uh, Call of Duty. All right. Pre-order. All right. Pre-order new Call of Duty. All right. Cool. Anyway, that's how it's going to look like when you check in your email. So now I got a full email widget set. All my music widgets set. Go crazy. Next, let's take it over to Twitter. All right. Let me. Uh, let's see. Let's. Go to my mentions, see if anybody's talking about me. Okay, got a few mentions. All right, shout out to Samsung. What they talking about? Samsung mentioned me. All right, awesome unboxing. What a classy way to unfold. I'm a flipologist, y'all. You know how it goes. All right, shout out to Samsung for showing me some love. I respect that. All right, I respect that. Let's see anything else. Slam Boy certified. Y'all know how we do it. Let's see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks for this review. All right, let's see. What review was that? All right, Galaxy Z Flip. On a side note, I want to shoot my Z Flip and my Z Fold review this weekend. So if y'all really want to see that, just be patient. Usually I wait until I get the retail version, but I'm going to do it a little bit uh, faster this time. I'm going to use my demo versions because I got to take a mile off to college next week. So, you know, it's going to be a hectic week for me. All right, but anyway, this is how your Twitter is going to look. There it is. All right, so next up, let's take it over to TikTok. All right, let's go to TikTok. Who do I follow? One person. Let's see what Amaya is up to. Okay, let's see. You know, Maya's out here living her life. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn. Let me turn the volume down real quick. Maya's out here living the dream. Look at look, look, look at this. Yeah, about to get emotional. Maya's literally going off to college next week. You know, I, I, I'm happy for her. I'm sad for myself, but I'm happy for her. She getting ready to be doing it big. All right, now Amaya knows that I hate. I hate this. I hate that. <laughs> I hate that dance, but you know, Maya's doing this, so I'm not gonna hate that, but I just hate that part of the dance that goes like that. I just hate that. All right, uh, anyway, so this is how your TikTok is gonna look. If we on TikTok, let's see, might as well watch one of my favorite TikTok videos. Let's see, is this still up here? All right, here it goes. The Meet My Dad, pump the volume on this one. All right. Thank you, Daddy. When Amaya goes away, I'm gonna be watching this video like every day. We'll hurry stream close up, you know what I mean? This song, this song is just making it even, even more emotional and more harder to watch. Uh, this, this is hard to watch. And I literally remember every one of those days. Anyway, that's how your TikTok is. I know, I'm, I'm going off. All right, that's, uh, let me get my tissue back in. Yeah, uh, hold up. Promise I wasn't going to cry. Hold up. All right, where was we? All right, so that's how your TikTok is going to look. Let's take it over to, uh, let's go to Facebook. All right, now Facebook, I really only check on my family on Facebook. I right, look at my aunt out here getting it. Okay. Uh, okay. It's spicy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's go back to Facebook real quick. Let's see anything. Let's see if anything is popping on Facebook that we need to uh be concerned with. All right, let's see. All right, now my Facebook is taking a little bit long to update. All right, there it is. Let's see. Uh, my aunt is out here living her best life. I respect that. A little bit of commercials right here. Who this? Uh Jonathan Brown. 
What's those leather? You got a leather clogs on? What's that, Uggs? <sighs> now, again, there's a lot of jokes that could be made here, but we, we, we're not going to do that. Samuel King, all right. Nice little shot right here, going on vacation. I love to see people out here living their life. I love it, man. I love it. Shout out to my cousin Erica. She always doing it big. Y'all like this Iron Man mask? I think I need that. I, oh, oh, I think I'm going to need that. I don't know if it fit. I don't know if it uh, fit on my big ass head, but I try to squeeze it on there. Why not? Look at my, now. Look at my brother Mook. I right, see that. You know what I'm saying? This this is my brother Mook right here. This is why I like. This is what I be saying, man. A lot of y'all be roasting Mook for for certain things, but one thing you can't talk about with Mook is he know how to get that money. All right, look, look, he holding that money like a newborn baby. Yo, Mook, if you are watching this video, where that twenty dollars that you owe me? All right, let me go ahead and like this video, even though I don't, even though I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like it because he owe me twenty dollars. Anyway, that's how your Facebook is gonna look. And last but not least, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay. Let's see what's going down on Instagram. All right, let's see. All right. That's how you like a photo, just like that. Get another like. Some basketball photos. You know what I'm saying? All right, shout out to Lisa Edwards. All right, that's my homegirl. Uncle Vin Rock. That's my man from Naughty by Nature. That's my guy. Tipsy bartender. Okay. Now, I'm looking for one picture so I can do the Calvin test. Uh, Y'all seen this videos going around lately? Everybody trying to walk to the top of the Milk Crate Mountain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see if Big Man can pull it off. I'm betting that. I'm betting that he pulls it off. What y'all think? Either he's gonna pull it off or he's going down in spectacular fashion. All right. What y'all think? I think he's gonna do it. Wait, he looks like he might do it. He looks like he's gonna do it. Oh wait, Big Man getting kind of wobbly. Come on, Big Man. Run down. Run down, Big Man. I, I always respect the Big Man. Come on, let's go, Big Man. Oh, let's go! Oh, now nah, you see, he should have just went for it. He should have just went for it. He concentrated too much at the top, and he folded. All right, that's how your Instagram is gonna look. Let's see anything else. Um, my man right here. All right, he looking like Wesley Snipes' cousin, Ernest Snipes. All right, I like him. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. A little spice right there. That's a little. That might be too spicy. <laughs> too spicy for the pepper. I, okay, okay, the, the extra spice. All right, now here's the Calvin test. All right, Calvin, just in case you want to zoom in and see what somebody's wearing around their neck, you can zoom in just like that. Okay, let's take it over to my Instagram real quick. Okay, now here's a little video with some sound. All right, you know what I'm saying? This is how you, you're watching your Instagram videos. This is me and Amaya on our last, our last dinner in New York City. That's me and my sister right there. If y'all wondering why we look so much alike, that's my sister. You know what I'm saying? That's me right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here glistening. You know how I give it up. You know what I'm saying? That's my sister right there. My nephew that be doing the rap songs. Amaya and my sister in the bathroom doing girly stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is me I, on my iPhone talking mad smack. Telling mad lies. You know how I do it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, anyway, so that's how Instagram is going to look. All right, so that's your regular daily activities. You buying this phone for 450 bucks, you can do everything. All right, you can do everything. And say you open up Facebook and you want to do some Facebook and YouTube at the same time. It's real simple. Just hit clear all, open up YouTube, and bang, just like that. All right, so let's see. Say, what was I, what, what, what any recommendations for me? I right, say I want to watch some Come some fighting games right while I'm breezing through yeah. uh, Facebook read. at the same time. <laughs> okay, regular daily activities, and also I want to show you one thing: when you close up YouTube, you do have picture in picture. Okay, so I can use my phone and watch YouTube at the same time. Excellent device. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little bit of gaming. Asphalt 9 queued up. Here we go. Now this is the Snapdragon 765. So you should have no issues with the game. Woo, hold up. Woo, okay. I took the wrong route. Take it over to the right. There we go. Look at that. Okay, let me focus. Oh, almost wrecked. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm out of nitrous. Let's see, what place am I in? Okay. <laughs> First place. Again, Snapdragon 765G going to handle any game from the Android market. Let's keep it moving. 
All right, so now let's talk about one of the best features of this phone and one of the best features of any Google Pixel phone, the camera. Now I know what some of y'all are gonna say, two cameras on the rear, all of these phones now, I got four cameras, five cameras, 12 cameras, some phones, the whole back is just one big camera. That means nothing if you don't have the processing software. And Google has the processing software to be able to rock two cameras and have this phone compete with some of the top dogs out right now. Now, of course, you got your world star hip hop button. I right, say you outside, press the power button twice, you're gonna feel that vibration, bang, take you right to your camera. All right, so let's go through some of the different uh, shooting modes. You got night sight. Now, when you take a picture at nighttime, it's gonna look like trash on your phone for two seconds. Then the, the software is gonna process that image and it's gonna blow you away. Let me give you a perfect example of that with portrait mode. Okay, now watch this. I'm gonna do a quick portrait mode shot, just like that. Now, see, it didn't really look like much, but watch when it processes. You see, look, you see that? At first, it looked like trash. Look how the background just processed right in. The software on this phone is what makes it special. Now, you got night sight. All right, so from night sight, all right, that's your night vision camera. You could do wide angle, and you could zoom all the way up to seven times zoom. You got portrait mode, wide angle, all the way up to 4.7 times zoom. You got camera, all right, this is your regular camera. You got wide angle, regular, and you can zoom all the way up to seven times zoom. All right, no, no super space zoom on that. Again, clean. I'd rather have a clean zoom than a 100 times zoom that look like a, like a, like a potato. All right, let's go to video. Now from video, matter of fact, let me do one more thing. From camera, if you swipe down, you got your mobile uh, mobile pictures, you got a timer, and you can put these in uh, full screen mode. Let's go to video. Now from video, wide angle, regular, and you can zoom all the way up to three point zoom, 3.0 zoom. All right, let's go back to regular. You got slow motion, time lapse, and you got a bunch of different video stabilization choices. So you got standard for light movement, that's default. You got locked, I right, for far away and while still shots, you got active for heavy movement and you got cinematic pan. Now for smooth panning shots, it's gonna be half speed, but it does look dope. Now if you swipe down, you got full HD at 60 frames per second. If you want 4K, oh, matter of fact, you do got 4K 60 frames per second. All right, so you got four, I thought it was 30 frames, my bad. I think I said that at the beginning, 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, that's pretty dope. And you got different modes. You got panorama, photosphere, and lens. Now, I usually don't like to talk about how a camera looks, like how the pictures look. I'd rather just post the pictures and you be the judge for yourself. But this time I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. This phone takes amazing pictures, all right? And you gotta keep this in the back of your mind, 450 bucks. The camera on this phone, I would bet money, is better than the camera on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now the Z Fold 3, 1800 bucks plus tax, damn near $2,000. You are getting a Fold, big screen, S Pen, all that fancy stuff. But when I do my real review, I'll, tell, I'll talk about why having a, a dope camera is important. And if you're gonna buy a Z Fold, this is the perfect phone to have in your pocket as an accessory phone. All right, so let's take a look at some test pictures and videos.
right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Google Pixel 5a 5G a major, major, major go. And at 450 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. This is the perfect mid-range Android phone. Now, like I said earlier, for 450 bucks, you can find the Realme phones, the Xiaomi phones, the Huawei phones, the Vivo phones. They all going to have a better processor, better GPU, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, thought protection, a whole bunch of gimmicks. But they're not going to work on all of your carriers. And the main thing that's not going to work with any of those phones is 5G. Now, if you live in a 5G area, you're going to want a 5G phone. This phone is 5G, it's gonna work on all of your carriers. And another thing that separates this from the Xiaomi phones and the Vivo phones and the Realme phones, Google support, all right? You're gonna get full updates. You're always gonna have the latest version of Android. And again, this phone is the cleanest, smoothest, mid-range Android phone in the market. And the camera is top tier, all right? 450 bucks. Look, if you're looking for a secondary phone, say you already got a Galaxy S21, or maybe you got an iPhone, and you wanna play around with an Android phone, this is the phone to get, all right? Now, if this is the 5A, I can only imagine how dope the Pixel 6 Pro is gonna be. I'm guaranteeing y'all that's gonna be my work phone. I can't wait to get that one, I already seen it. It looks like it might be one of the sleeper phones of the year. Nevertheless, 450 bucks, I would say jump on this immediately. Okay, build quality is excellent, ultra durable. This is just one of those smooth, fast, reliable Android phones, all right? That's the key word also, clean and reliable, all right? That's why Pixels have always been my work phones. You're not gonna have any lag, any hiccups, any stutters, and when Android 12 comes out, you're gonna be the first one with it, all right? Any patches, any security fixes, any minor updates, you getting it first. No bloatware, no gimmicks, pure Android glory. <laughs> anyway, Google Pixel 5a 5G, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Look at, look at this, look at this. Imagine trying to, trying to do your outro and you got this cat right here just staring at you. Fellas, find you a girl that looks at you the way White Shoes looks at me. If your girl don't look at you like this, it's time to find a new girl. Let's try that again. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. I know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat plays or laugh. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Stock one to beam up. Energize. Everybody to subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossie Carter, we know you Flossie. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money made all day, the one and only. Flossie Carter, you part of the money team.